Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade the laptop motherboard. So as you can see, for example, for the desktop motherboard, you can upgrade many parts in it, like the CPU, the graphic card, the GMCH, the HDD, the sound card, etc. But for the laptop motherboard, you cannot upgrade everything in it. You can just upgrade four parts. These parts are the CPU or central processing unit, the RAM, random access memory, the basic input output system or BIOS, and the HDD or hard disk drive. So in this video, we're gonna focus on how to upgrade the CPU or the central processing unit. Okay, so. So let's see first the characteristic of the CPU. Basically, the CPU has three main characteristics. As you can see here, we have 1.83 gigahertz. We have 2M or 2 megabytes, and we have 667. I'm going to show you all these numbers means what. So 1.83 gigahertz means the speed of the processor, okay? This is the speed or the frequency of the processor, okay? And for 2M or 2 megabyte, this is the cache memory capacity or size, okay? the cache memory. And 667 is the frequency or the speed of the bus that connect the processor to the notch bridge or GMCH. This bus, we call it FSP or front side bus that we're gonna see next in the schematic. So I will show you how to find everything about processors using just Google. For example, let's take this example. For example, for this processor, let's type this characteristics 1.83 as you can see here in the processor so 2m or 2 megabytes and 667 let's know what these numbers means so let's pick the first result okay so here we go as you can see here we have intel core 2 duo processor Okay, T5600. Okay, as you can see, we have 2M, means 2 megabyte cache, as you can see. This 2 megabyte cache means the cache memory, means the memory inside the CPU, okay? And here we have 1.83 gigahertz. This is the processor frequency or speed, okay? And here, as you can see, we have 667 megahertz. FSB. FSB means front side bus, the bus that connects the processor to GMCH. So as you can see here in the schematic or in the laptop block diagram, we have here, as you can see, we have here the processor, as you can see, Pentium M, okay, and here this is the GMCH or the North Bridge. And as you can see, this is the FSP, as you can see, the front side bus, the bus that connects these two chips, the processor and the road bridge, okay? We have FSP, okay? So as you can see, we have 800, 1066 megahertz. Basically, this is its frequency, okay? We have 800, 1066, because the schematic is for another laptop okay so here we have fsp means the bus that connects the processor to the north bridge okay and here we have also the dmi as you can see direct media interface the bus that connects the north bridge to the south bridge here we have its speed 100 megahertz of frequency okay so this is the dmi bus always the fsp speed is bigger is greater than the DMI speed. Here, as you can see, we have another bus. This is the memory bus, as you can see. It connects the GMCH or the, the North Bridge to the RAM, as you can see, to DDR2 RAMs. Here we have about 800, 1066 megahertz, the same frequency or speed as the FSP bus. Okay? So here, as you can see, we have 
4 megabyte. This 4 megabyte means the cache memory. So this processor contains a cache memory with 4 megabytes. Okay, so if you understand this working principle in this block diagram, you can understand any laptop block diagram. Okay, so there is always three main characteristics for every processor. So the frequency of the processor of, or the speed of the processor, the cache memory, and the speed or the frequency of the IFSP bus or front side bus, the bus that connects the processor or the CPU to the North Bridge or to the GMC hedge. So there is another characteristic that you should pay attention is the generation, the CPU generation. So if you go to the CPU characteristics or information, you will find number like this. Always the number after the dash is the generation. Okay. If you find dash nine means the mind generation, dash one means the first generation, dash two means the the second generation, etc. Okay, so always do number after the dash means the CPU generation. So, for example, let's assume that we want to upgrade this processor with these characteristics. Okay, so to upgrade any processor, you should have another processor with enhanced characteristics or performance. For example, this is just an example here. For this processor, we have 2.10 gigahertz. Here we have just 1.83. Here, as you can see, okay. So this processor is a good processor. Here we have 3 megabytes in the memory cache. Okay, as you can see, 3 megabytes. And here we have 800 megabytes the speed of the FSP bus. So the characteristic of this processor is greater than the characteristics of the, the first processor. So we can upgrade now the processor of this motherboard by removing it first. You can just unscrew the screw, as you can see. So if you focus here, you will find Two symbols this is lock this is unlock so if you turn the screw to unlock position then you can remove the cpu easily as you can see okay now the cpu is removed and then you can connect the second cpu 